When I was in university, I worked every summer at a retirement home, and one thing I observed was that there was basically two kinds of people there. Those that still had some zeal and a positive outlook on their life, and those that spent most of their day complaining. And I was in food service, so I heard my fair share of complaints, that's for sure. And I determined then what kind of person I wanted to be when I was older. Not the one full of complaints and bitter towards life, but rather, I want to be still living with zeal. Now, you might say, well, it's hard when you're older and your health is not great or you've lost family and friends. Well, this past birthday, I asked the Lord for a verse, and here it is. Romans 12, verse 11. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Bam, what a verse, right? I don't see any age limit on never. Never be lacking in zeal. It doesn't seem to just apply to those that are young and have most of life ahead of them. And here's the next thing it says, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Again, there's no age limit on either of those words. See, the word keep means literally to hold on to. Our passion to follow Christ is worth holding on to. And I witnessed many Christians in that home still living with zeal and keeping their spiritual fervor for God. In most cases, this was seen simply in how they served others. They were aware of other people's needs. And I can assure you, they stood out like bright lights in that retirement home. Well, as I reflected on my own life and even those younger than me, this is something we all need to hear. You see, it's easy to get discouraged, to even give up and quit. And sadly, we've been hearing more and more of people losing their spiritual fervor and choosing to no longer serve the Lord. So how do you keep it? Well, the next verse gives three ways to help us keep it. Romans 12, verse 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. There's the formula. Joyful in hope. Always choosing joy with a hopeful expectation in our life is key to keeping our zeal. Also, patient in affliction. That's definitely not looking for the easy life, but rather a willingness to endure through difficult times. And finally, faithful in prayer. Well, one day when I was at work, I was walking down the hall and I passed this room with a beautiful Christian couple who lived in this room. And the door was open and I heard them talking, so I thought I'd step in and say hello. Well, there they were, with their heads bowed, praying together. It was a picture I don't want to ever forget. They were faithful in prayer. So there's a verse to live by at any age, and that's courageous living.